finish what he writes. Laugh out loud. What we really need is a public demonstration, he's talking about fracking, of you blowing it out your ass. Now that's something I pay to see. <laughs> Dear William, I don't want to get personal, but all people and most animals do, in fact, emit natural gas from time to time. No fracking needed. It is unusual to find someone like you who would pay to see it. It's usually a private thing, but there's no accounting for tastes, and we live in a very liberated age. I am a happily married man, but if you would really pay to see me produce hydrocarbons, well, my mom didn't raise no fool. I'll take your money to fart on you, you stupid leftist. Hey, folks, speaking of emitting carbon dioxide and methane and things like that, the case for fracking.com is the website where you can find out about my book. I've got uh, shows from the source. I have radio interviews that I have done with both friendly and critical hosts. And you can even order the book online if you so choose. Look at that gorgeous picture. Just look at that picture for a second. That is a fracking site. It's small. It's surrounded by force. The trucks come in for a week or ten days, do their fracking, and then they leave usually never to return again or for at least 10 or 20 years, while that place pumps away natural gas for years or decades. It's such a great technology. I'm still learning about it. I wrote the book, and I've already learned more in the last week than maybe I did in a month before as I'm engaging in debates. I've given speeches on the subject. I've touched on it in speeches in Peace River and Ottawa. i got speeches coming up in Mississauga and Calgary. I'm going to start putting my speaking engagements and other public book signings on that website. If you want to come and meet me, say hello, get an autograph copy. I like to joke they're more rare, unsigned, more valuable that way. I'm going to be, for example, in Calgary, the TD Indigo Spirit signing books. I love that place. It's sort of fracking central in Calgary. So check it out, thecaseforfracking.com. We'll put up my speaking dates there in the next few days. Folks, I'm Ezra Levant. I fight for freedom, the freedom to frack, and the freedom to emit your own methane, no matter what left-wing creeps say. Yeah, I was just kidding. You can't pay to watch me admit that thing, sir. And that's what I'll see you before.